Now, KLBK Sports Connection. Hello and welcome into your KLBK Sports Connection. Well, with the MLB season just around the corner, the Rangers have yet to announce their opening day roster. Former Red Raider Josh Young making his case as to why he should be on the Rangers 30 man. Tonight marks the third game in the Rangers inner squad series. Young hitting eighth in the lineup. He'll hit this one down the right field line and don't let his size fool you. The kid's got some wheels on him. He'll slide into second with a double. The first round draft pick getting a big league hit in the Rangers brand new stadium, which I would imagine would feel pretty good. From a former to a current tech baseball player, Max Marshock is back in the lineup for the sod squad. After struggling to get hits and sitting out a couple games, the Amarillo native is back in full force. Now this was from last night. He hits this one out to right center. It's a nice RBI triple for Marshock. Now sod squad manager Brett Wellman says the key to Marshock being effective at the plate is just getting out of his head and having a short term memory when things don't go his way. He's a good player and I told him to start acting like it. Um, he let he all for the first few games of the season. He let his first at bat dictate how he played the rest of the game. Max is still going to be a big part of our offense um, and he works hard every day. He's going to be good. He was putting too much pressure on himself, which I understand he's playing in his hometown. He probably wanted to go out there and start off on fire. And once he, he settled in, calmed down, and he's good to go now. We got more tech baseball for you. Former tech baseball player Josh Tomlin making the Braves opening day roster, returning to the mound for his 11th MLB season. Tomlin joined the Braves in 2019 after nine years with the Cleveland Indians, posting a 3.74 ERA in just over 79 innings. The Braves play their first game of the season next Friday against the Mets. As Texas Tech football nears the start of fall camp, we've been previewing their upcoming schedule. And tonight, the countdown to camp series continues with KLBK Sports Director Ryan King's breakdown of the defensive line position group. The countdown to camp continues with our first position group breakdown in the trenches, the defensive line. The Red Raiders forced 24 sacks in 2019, seventh most in the conference. Texas Tech senior defensive lineman Eli Howard returns after leading the Red Raiders in sacks last season with five, but the linchpin of the D-line for years was Broderick Washington, who now is in the NFL, so other players will have to step up and fill that role. A name mentioned during the 2019 season and once again here in the offseason is sophomore Tony Bradford Jr. Bradford played in 11 of the 12 games during his freshman season and started two, amassing 13 tackles, two for loss, and even combined for a sack against Oklahoma State. The Red Raiders want to put more pressure on offenses in 2020, and with guys like Howard and Bradford taking another step in their careers, the defensive line could set the tone for the whole Texas Tech defense. But I think the big thing that you have to look at is how much of a pass rush can you get with Eli Howard and whoever else, like I said, a, a Tony Bradford, a Gilbert of Benemy, or some of the other guys that are looking to kind of make their way because the pass rush certainly uh, was non-existent, so to speak, if you want to really look at it that way. Other than those seven sacks against Oklahoma State last year, I believe they only had six games where they had more than one sack in a game, and that's certainly not a trend that you want to go. There's a lot of teams that like to pass the ball. If you're not able to get to the quarterback, you're going to be in a bad way. And looking to professional football, the NFL announcing that training camps will be open on time. So we have college football, MLB coming back, talking a little bit of NFL. So it's exciting, Alyssa. Things are starting to gear up for us. Yes, NFL is like one of my favorites. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right, thank you so much, Leah. We'll be right back.